Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Last time we cleared out all of the rest of our side quests that we had available. Uh, just going to double check quick, make sure we actually cleared them out. Yeah, I love that you can rotate this. <clears throat> so you can, instead of having to like move all over the map, you can just like pan sideways <laughs> like that. So what we're going to do is head straight into Canver. And get on with the main story again. See what kind of what kind of trouble they're in here, and what we have to fight to make it end. The warehouse district, huh? Sounds like thunder. Talk a little bit louder, why don't you? Oh, he was given like a code. I thought he was just being dumb. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother. Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cringe is real. There's touching Hi, reunion number boy. two. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Poor guy, man. It's been like an emotional roller coaster for him. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Interesting. Speaks true, Clive. So I feel like this Akashic thing is saw more than a few in the city. Not they so much the crystals, but I, I feel like it's had not of their own. Something to do with Ultima. Ultima's doing. Oh, well, there you go. Perhaps. Which means that Ultima has see. to be in some way intertwined with the mother crystals, then. Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. It would only make sense, really, because... themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. If if the mother crystals caused, like, ether floods and stuff... Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place... It, it would only make sense to link them in some way to Ultima. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? You guys head back to the hideaway, man. Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you're stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> gutter snipe. <laughs> Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Oh, don't don't you worry about that. Mr. Pupper's MVP. You too. And just like that, after we have, like, a party of four, we are flying solo with Mr. Pupper again. All right. So let's see. Oh, no map available. The button doesn't do anything. All right, Toggle. 
Let's find those survivors. Oh, this is shots against those things. Cool battle music. Let's torch them. Get roasted. Oh. That works. I was expecting to put up more of a fight. Guess not. There, we'll get rid of this guy first so they can't do their little annoying cure thing. Ah, yeah, you missed. Yank him down. There we go. Wow, look at that stagger gate shred. Yeah, I'm not going to bother pulling him down. We got him here. There we go. Okay, nothing down here. Nothing over here. So let's just head on through. I feel like we're probably not going to be seeing too much. <clears throat> like, um, item-wise. Not seeing any treasure boxes. We would see the little, the little white indicator things. And we are seeing exactly zero of those, so... Okay, let's roast him from back here. <clears throat> this should take most of them out, I think. Or entirely. Get out of here, dude. We got any more of them? No. Nice try. Nothing like a good old judgment bolt to get rid of the protection. <laughs> Okay, cool. What happened to the Royal Army? Wow, 700 There's ability points. Dang. Dang, that's that's a nice haul. Man. Let's see if we can upgrade anything quick. Uh, it's easier to go this way. Uh, 2000 Mm. let's save for the I think we'll save for the upgrade on this I mean we're already a third of the way there so <laughs> why not right
Ooh, a treasure box. Okay. We'll take it. Nothing over here. All right, up the stairs. Ah, and we got a... Our next batch of enemies can get roasty and toasty. We'll save it for when we stagger them. Ow! That was that was absolutely the wrong time to Phoenix shift. <laughs> Look at that stagger bar shred. Holy crap. It's so satisfying watching the stagger bar just like Constantly run down. And there he goes. Well, that wow, 115. Man, they weren't lying when they when they uh, with the 20% boost. Holy crap! They're just like throwing the ability points at us. I love it. That means we can actually like get to the uh, what is it, Giga Flare? We can actually get to the upgrade like relatively quickly. Ow. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. And we'll get rid of this guy. And if we get another wave, we can just roast them. You know, I have to say, even though you can't control your other party members, like, we can't do anything with Mr. Pupper outside of um, being able to actually give them commands like that way. The fact that, wow, 240, holy crap. Um, the fact that you don't have to worry about their HP pool is really nice because you don't have to like burn potions on characters you, you don't control. <laughs> it's, so, I mean, there is, there is an advantage to it that way when you like from that perspective. It just sucks because then you have other characters in your team. You can't, you can't like boost their equipment. You can't um, control their activities. Say you want them to focus on a specific enemy, you can't. You can't direct them to particular particular enemies. You can't tell them to be defensive. You can't tell them to focus on healing. Let's do what they want. So they're they're just they're just extras. So it's. must be busy. I mean, it's it's whatever. Okay, let's roast him. Nothing like a good bonfire to start a fight off, eh?
Get out of here. Oh, hey there, big boy. Oh, it's got a tornado going on him. We'll shred a stagger gauge. And then when we hit the 50, we'll make sure to pull him down. Oh, where did he go? There we go. Yank him down. There, we'll, we'll just drain it regularly here. Yeah, this... So I mentioned before that, like, I wasn't 100% sure on my block abilities, but we're able to time them pretty good. Like, I'm, I'm getting a better feel for it. I'm just not, like, I feel like it wouldn't go well if we took it off, that, that, uh, that accessory off. There we go. There's the stagger. Yeah, we'll just we'll just finish him off normally. We'll save our flames a rebirth for later. This is the Agra. The city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors in sight. Alright, well that was fun. Okay, not seeing anything else around here. How's our ability points doing? Wow, 2,000 already. Holy crap. Um, Let's get another limit bar. I don't even care. We, we, I mean, we're, we're... They're throwing ability points at us now, so... Yeah, look at that. Four bars. Whew, that's a long limit break. Ah... Bahamut accessories. All right, in we go. Where oh, are they? boss time. Boss time. These creatures. Does Ultima's reach extend this far? Yes, it does. Ultima's reach seems to extend everywhere, man. Yeah, let's just Judgment Bolt him. Level up! Level 41. Wow, we're almost at 2600 HP. I mean, you might as well say we're at 2600. We're four off, but... 372 attack. 372 stagger. 
It's interesting that they keep the attack and the stagger stat the same all the way through. Like, I, I, I have seen... You've caused quite the commotion. I have seen a couple... Uh, oh, he got new armor. From you. I've seen a couple weapons that have... Uh, and pieces of armor that have different... Um, you again. I don't believe we've different been attack introduced. and stagger stats. So there is that, but not uh, not enough to be, like, significant. You were in my family's crypt. <clears throat> and now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Were. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. Can we fight this guy now? They are pure. They are divine. What? I feel like this has been a long time and coming with this guy. He's been kind of lingering in the background in since the beginning of the game. Rockers. You'll pay for what you've done, as you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. Oh, whatever. Just put on your helmet and get, uh, let's get on with this with your generic NPC armor. Absolutely generic NPC armor. No, we won't. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Nice try. This is kind of underwhelming. His attacks are so easy to telegraph, man. Or he telegraphs them so, like, outwardly. Wrong time to Phoenix shift. <laughs> There's the stagger. Melt that health bar. All right, let's go. Oh, phase two. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. Yeah, it really does. It's, it's just that I it's really, so much really lackluster. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. Yeah, come on, Captain Cringe. How did we know that was going to be a dodge?
Okay, let's shred that stagger gauge. Alright, let's go! Almost got him! Much too early. Oh, are we gonna take him up before we get a stagger? Get wrecked, you cringe lord. Wow, 420 ability points. Dang, man. Okay, what's this? Uh, crafting, crafting, and meteorites. The vessel is strong. No, you're just a wuss. My leash. I can't believe it was this cringe lord. Who was like overpowering Hugo? <clears throat> Clive, you're all right. As are you, I see. Yeah, it was no trouble at all. We are, yes. Oh, he's going to do something, I'm sorry, isn't he? But we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. He's going to get up, isn't he? Well. You did what you could. Or he's not. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna go Super Saiyan, eh? <clears throat> or that. <laughs> no, Odin. Leaving 
coming so soon, Mythos? Yeah, we thought that we were done, so can we have Odin now? Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm. You Born wish, you cringe lord. Come on. King of Walud. Get back. All right, do we actually get to fight a real enemy now? Oh, come on, Clive. <clears throat> Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. <laughs> But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone. Their pronunciation of mythos is starting to really irritate me. My purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Yep. Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Uh oh. Try it. <laughs> Come on, man. So Clive just forgot how to fight all of a sudden. You are as weak as all the rest. Joshua. So he just suddenly forgot how to fight. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not going to end well at all. I love how Mr. Pupper's just running behind with a sword. Power beyond reckoning, and they use it as a crush. Such a waste. So you guys just don't know how to dodge? You can't, you just can't dodge. I, I sincerely don't understand. So we can take down Bahamut, no problem. We can take down Titan, no problem. We took down that S-rank hunt, Svarog. The phoenix can mend flesh, um, but the spirit... What else did we do? On its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. We've come through all kinds of crap. 
and all of a sudden he remarkable. just forgets how to fight. It must have been no small feat. But why go to and trouble? Jill looked balanced. like she went down in one hit. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. I feel like that was kind of craned into the story. They could have made that battle scene so much more epic. All right. Because, like, I mean, and how is he? Realistically, that was horrendously cringe the way that played Do out. Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him <clears throat> if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <sighs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh, is this going to be the thing that happens to Jill where we get Shiva's powers now? And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who told me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. Yeah, don't suddenly forget how to fight again, what Clive. The Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. Yeah, because you're an idiot and forgot how to fight. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> I can only imagine not too long, though, because she hasn't really done... She's kind of taken a back seat, like, considering she's the, the Shiva dominant, she hasn't really done anything with Shiva yet. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. Like she did when we went to the, what was it, the Iron Kingdom? When, when we fought the the Liquid Flame, she made, like, a barrier around it, but that was it. She, she hasn't done, like, anything with Shiva at all. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, I guess it makes sense though because it seems like her rubble. her bearer curse is kind of didn't save anyway. From what I remember I might still have along the story, it seems stores. like we'll have to her what what do you even call it? Stonification? I'll speak with Otto. Petrification? Um, the bearer curse. Hers seems like it's probably a little more progressed, so she's probably not wanting to use her abilities that much outside of regular just magic, but... Oh, okay, so we're gonna go to the hideaway? Let's head in, I suppose. A song of hope. Gav said that Otto might know something. Of course it's Otto. Um, so what do we got? Uh, we got new hunts. We got new stuff at the shop, new stuff at the blacksmith. So we will check that out next time and see if we can't go find Jill or what goes on with the story. But it looks like we're locked out of anywhere on the map until, uh, until we deal with whatever Otto's got. So... 
If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.